story that incorporates <coughs> that incorporates all the living doctors. Because as soon as you've got that kind of fractured uh, storyline, um, it becomes less and less satisfying. And also you've got to, if you're going to get other doctors in it, they don't want to come and do just a couple of lines in somebody else's story. Um, each one of us has an ego of varying sizes and we wouldn't want to be an extra. So we want to be doing something to be seen to be our doctor. Um, and when you've got that many people to satisfy, ultimately it, it would satisfy the fans who are a significant but small percentage of the total viewers. And the rest of the viewers might be totally perplexed about what these doddering old gits are doing. <laughs> wandering around, um, being the doctor, when all they want is a good story. So it may be that uh, Moffat was wise not to incorporate us all. Um, so even though part of us all, we all thought it would be nice to be asked, and we weren't, there's another part that says, I can quite understand why not, really. Um, I suppose we could have all had a, a little bit, if we, all, if we were all treated equally, and all the classic doctors, as we're now called, had a small cameo role, maybe even playing another character. Um, and I'd have been very hacked off if, you know, if I were to watch it and find that, you know, Sylvester's in it and I'm not, or Peter's in it and I'm not. So it has to be all or none at all. I, I think that's quite clear. Um, and it, it would be quite hard to do a good story. Although, having said that, Big Finish have managed it. But we all look the same on audio. <laughs> on audio, I look like I looked in 1983. In vision, not so much. We wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, <perfectly out> <laughs> Your doctor 